Hi, my name is Kasti Simanev. I'm the producer and creator of Steam Hammer. I lead Steamforge, a team of 26 developers in the USA, Belarus, and Russia. We've been working for over a year to design Steam Hammer, the world's first sandbox RPG in a steampunk setting. Now, we need your help to produce the game exactly as we have conceived it. In sale, uh, steam powered uh, machinery and twisted biotechnology are at the core of this late 19th century alternate reality. The world teams with trains, airships, and leviathans, but you have crash landed on one of the Caribbean islands. Now, your mission is just to survive. It all starts by cobbling together a makeshift machete, then, gather resources from the island, including metals, coal, wood, and the priceless juice from the Celebrium trees that fuels the machinery of the Empire. Construct shelter from the harsh Caribbean conditions. Build workshops in which you will create technological wonders and engineer fortifications to defend yourself from attack. From these humble beginnings, you will eventually build whole cities with Team Smithies and your own airship fleet. Your biggest threat is the other settlers on the island. Pillaging and plundering is easier than creating, so you must always be watchful. And as they say, if you want peace, you must prepare for war. Protect yourself with customizable weapons, armor, guns, cannons and military airships. If you feel overwhelmed, you can even ally with people in nearby towns. Choose between melee or long-range weapons to defeat your foes and eventually harness the power of Tesla coils. When you play a Steam Hammer, you can choose to be a melee fighter, a sniper, a technomage, a stormtrooper and more. You will find no class restrictions on armor or weapons, but to use them you'll need to train in specific combat skills. Once you level your character with your favorite weapon and armor, you will gain access to advanced abilities. This is especially critical in PvP battles, where you and your friends will raid trade caravans, seize forts and fight epic airship battles. Some players will man powerful turrets, while others use their jetpacks to board enemy airships in daring aerial assaults. We want to expand Seoul far beyond airships and include railroads, steam-powered mechanisms, hybrid motorcycles, mechanical horses and technological wonders. The game currently supports up to 64 players. We dream of making it an endless world which could unite people all over the planet. Our ultimate goal is for Steam Hammer to be an MMO game. Plus, we want to develop the Akribians, be a punk race that's completely different from the technocrats of the Victorian Empire. Akribians use Celebrium to fuse machinery and living flesh together. Please support us and all of this and more come true. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel and spread the news. We need your support. Please pledge today. Grab your glory, grab your victory, grab your steam hammer. It was an age of trouble. An age of outlaws, bandits, and scoundrels. A day when villains prospered and good folks trembled. People had to be tough as nails just to get by. And survival was a daily struggle. The West was still wild in them days. Factions were getting awful restless, itching for a fight. It was an age of great armies and navies and iron, when the skies were ruled by mighty steam powered contraptions. It was an age of battle, when crackles of distant gunfire defied most any moment of solace, when mischief and
infested the land. And business was often conducted with volleys of cannon fire. It was a time of duels, gunfights, and the like. But a thick iron hole kept you safe. But a well-oiled Gatling gun kept you safer. But life or death was merely a question of firepower and wits. You couldn't count on much back then. Just your crew. Your ship. And a loaded six shooter, of course. They were tough times to be sure, though through the darkness were flickers of light. Good folks. Rare folks of honor and justice. Folks the world forever remembers as legends of the age of grit. come in. I'm Andy Morrison, president of the indie game studio IQ Soup. I'm just working on one of our projects here. Would you like to take a look? Pretty great, huh? But I'm here to talk about a different game. Age of Grit. In Age of Grit, you play the captain of an airship, adventuring across a vast, Wild West-inspired, steampunk world. You'll be accompanied by a motley crew of interesting and colorful characters. The game will kind of be like the Firefly TV series, but you'll be living aboard a steampunk airship rather than a spaceship, and you'll be visiting cowboy towns rather than planets. Age of Grit will feature unique, strategic, ship-to-ship -ship combat mechanics, with the game controlling the same way a real steampunk airship might control, with old-fashioned gauges, dials, and levers that the player will have to interact with. Your ship will be fully customizable. You'll be able to upgrade the weapons, the engines, even the crew quarters. There'll be a simple crafting system, so you can Create components from salvaged parts that you find throughout the game. Age of Grit will be an RPG with a big focus on deep story and meaningful dialogue. There's been so many great classic RPGs over the years. The Final Fantasy series, Baldur's Gate, Putt-Putt Joins the Parade, Knights of the Old Republic. I remember Christmas of 1997 when I first played Final Fantasy VII on our new Sony PlayStation. I loved it, and ever since then, I've dreamed of making an epic RPG of my own. I'm really excited about this game. I've had the idea for Age of Grid in my head for quite some time. It's really my dream video game. We have a great team of experienced, talented, and passionate people working on the game. Please be a part of this project by pledging below. Thank you so much for your support and for helping make Age of Grit a reality.